from the Storm Team Weather Lab, KMAC meteorologist Jacob Riley. Well, good Friday morning, South Plains waking up to some pretty mild temperatures out there right now. Some locations still in the 60s this morning, so you may not need that jacket as you head out the door. But a cold front is headed our way and that will cool us off as we head into the weekend. But for today, a few clouds possible here in West Texas. There's that cold front going to move into our region. That same storm system will combine with the cold front we saw earlier in the week and bring a level four out of five moderate risk for severe storms today to portions of the deep south. So if you know anyone that lives from Dallas up towards uh, Springfield, Missouri, back all the way down through Atlanta, Georgia and Pensacola, Florida, Make sure they know it's headed their way today. Tornadoes, damaging winds expected there. Here in the South Plains, though, we're forecasting beautiful sunrises for you this morning. A few clouds on the horizon there. This view brought to you by Action Printing. And really, you couldn't ask for a better view as we kick off the last day of your work week. Today, it looks like high temperatures will be warm, ranging from the mid 70s over northwestern areas to the upper 80s and lower 90s across the rolling plains. Tonight, that cold front we showed you on the map just a few moments ago, expected to move through our area. That will give us low temperatures near freezing from a line from plains all the way back through Lubbock and Floydata back to the north and west. So if you live in those regions, you might want to bring in those pets and plants that are sensitive to those colder temperatures. Tomorrow, though, that cold front impacting most of the area a little bit more, bringing us calmer winds. We're grateful for that and some colder temperatures. Highs tomorrow ranging through the 70s, which actually is right where we should be for this time of year. It's going to be a little windy today. We'll see those wind gusts upwards of 30 miles per hour throughout the day. And once that cold front moves through tonight, we could see those gusts as high as 40 miles per hour. So don't be surprised if you're out a little later tonight and you see some of that blowing dust move through. But by our Saturday, those winds calm down, maybe gusting only upwards of 10 to 15 miles per hour. The stronger winds today, though, giving us an elevated risk of fire weather for all areas in orange. Areas in the red are where we have that critical risk for fire weather today. As a result of that, we have seen a red flag warning issued from Bailey County down through Hockley, Lynn, Borden, Scurry and points to the south and west of there. That lasts until 9 p.m. Central Time tonight. Sunday, though, looking a lot warmer out there. We'll be back near 90 degrees area wide. But if you like the heat, get out and enjoy it Sunday because next week our pattern will begin to change. Tuesday, we'll start to see some showers move into the area, and it looks like those will remain a possibility on and off all the way through Wednesday, Thursday, and possibly even into our Friday. This is great news. We need this moisture back in our area, especially as we head into growing season. The European model between now and this time next week, showing over half of an inch of rainfall in Lubbock with heavier amounts to our east. That lines up with a 6 to 10 day outlook as well, showing above average chances for precipitation and an increased chance of below average temperatures as well. So Kathleen, if you're not liking this little taste of summer we're having right now, good news for you. It's going to be cooler next week and we're just really excited about those rain chances here. We all know how much we need them, how bad those drought conditions have been and our farmers could definitely use that moisture here, like we said, as we head into growing season. Yeah, I definitely need those rain chances and you know I did just buy my daughter a new pair of rain boots too. So hey, hey we need some good puddles go. to splash it. Perfect so there we week go. to try it out. There we go. Good timing <laughs> on my part. Mom win right there. 